Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this week we're filming from Youthspar's offices. More coming up on that later as this is your week in tech. Cybersecurity software company Panazir has raised $2.25 million through a syndicated seed investment round. Lovecraft, the crafting community marketplace and e-commerce startup, has raised a $20 million Series B round. The funding is being led by Highland Europe and existing investor Balderton Capital, bringing the total raised by the London headquartered company to $30 million. Giving a speech at GCHQ, George Osborne announced that the government will create a £165 million defence and cyber innovation fund. The fund will be used to invest in cyber security startups and set up incubators from 2016. By 2020, however, a further £1.9 billion will be invested in setting up a new national cyber centre. The aim is to make Britain one of the safest places to do business online. Europe's most successful Kickstarter campaign, the Zano Mini Drone Project, has been shut down, resulting in the disappointment of thousands of people who invested in the company and never received their device. Talking Group released a statement to backers saying it decided to pursue creditors' voluntary liquidation despite having raised over $2 million on the Kickstarter platform. The failure to deliver the mini drones highlights that there are no guarantees when it comes to crowdfunded ideas. Our download of the week is Newsbar, and the CEO, Iglica, is here to tell us a little bit more. Iglica, tell us what is it all about? Newspa is the app for busy Londoners. We're the only pure on-demand, high-end mobile spa service and we bring the spa to your door within an hour. Our trained spotistas do everything from massages, nails, hair, makeup and beauty treatments. So no more calling around, no more booking ahead. Just relax and let us come to you. And finally, the Oxford English Dictionary has announced that the Tears of Joy emoji is their word of the year. That's right, it's not even a word, it's, well, this. <laughs> they teamed up with Swiftkey to find out that the Tears of Joy emoji was the most used emoji of 2015 globally. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and make sure you follow us on Twitter.